Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch. And today we're checking out something called UIWS, which I think was Universal Interactive Water Simpson. I have no idea, actually. We'll see in just a second. But what this is, is free right now due to the Epic Mega Games giveaway. And I'm showcasing it because, frankly, it's awesome and you need to pick it up while it is free. You're going to be kicking yourself in the butt later on if you don't grab this one. So I just want to bring special notice to it. This is actually a runnable demo you can uh, download to see how things interact with this guy. So you notice as I'm walking around, uh, we're getting splashed flashes, ripples in the water. I can go ahead and throw physics objects into the world and you'll see how they interact. At the same time, I come over here, you'll see uh, we've got waterfall effects, we've got underwater effects and so on. What basically this does is makes it really easy to add water into your world. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea behind it. By the way, you can grab the demo. Uh, there is a <laughs> foliage. Why is that word in every video I ever do? Uh, example here as well. So you can see it in action. Get an idea of what this guy's capable of. And if you need to add water to your scenes, this makes it really, really, really easy. And another reason why you should pick this guy up is, well, normally it's actually quite expensive. And again, uh, for the month of September, this is available completely for free on Unreal Engine. So even if you're not using Unreal Engine currently, I would highly recommend just head on over to the marketplace, create an account, sign up, download it, and start your digital hoarding career like I have for so many months now. Uh, because it costs you literally nothing. And once you've bought it, it is yours forever. So again, the end of the demo, let's exit out of here. And now we're going to go take a look at some of the details behind it. So this again is UIWS or Unified Interactive Water System. Hey, I was close-ish. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, this is currently part of the Unreal Engine September 2020 free assets. If you don't know about how this works, basically every month Epic Games gives away, normally it's five assets for the month. You buy them in air quotes during that month and then they are yours forever. They also add some items into the free, uh, permanently free collection. But this month, they actually gave away 10 assets. And the highlight of them is the Universal Interactive Water System, which you just saw in action. So again, you have until the first Tuesday of uh, October 2020 to get this. If you don't get it by that point in time, it goes back to its regular price. And that is important uh, because its regular price, well, here you can see, here's the page, literally, just go on in, add it to your cart, download it, you own it. Uh, but the, the permanent price is normally... $456 Canadian. So we're probably looking $350 to $400 USD uh, to pick this one up. Normally these giveaways are like $50 to $60 you know, sometimes 15 bucks kind of thing. Rarely do they give away an asset that's a couple hundred dollars like what we saw with the UIWS here. Uh, so again, I highly recommend you grab this guy. If you're interested, you can learn a little bit more at the homepage of egray.io, UIWS. I'll link this in the linked article down below if you want to go and check that out. Um, there is a demo available, which we saw in action. So you can get an idea how it runs on your particular rig. Uh, it is compiled for 64-bit PCs. In terms of actually getting this guy, all you have to do is once you own it, um, it's in your uh, library. Just go on in here and you install it into Unreal Engine. This is a set of five C++ classes. It extends Unreal Engine itself. So it isn't added to your project. It is a, a plugin or a module for Unreal Engine itself. So then all of your games going forward can then take use of this. And then we're going to take a look at a quick example of what I've done with it. And here you can see a really simple example of how it works. Basically, you drop... Um, you drop a couple things into your scene, and I've created this simple scene. So basically, this guy right here is set up to interact with the water systems. Gives you an idea of how easy it is to do. I just threw this together the last night in a couple of minutes. So this guy has um, some input handling code on it that's going to apply a force to it when I hit the space bar. So we'll go ahead and run this. So you can see when it first hits the water, it's generating ripples. And then if I hit the space bar, we'll add some... Um, force to it. And there you can see the ripple effect as we move around in the world. So it is really, really easy to get UIWS up and going. So we're going to look at the exact details of doing that right now. Everything here is done. It's extensions to... Um, uh, what are they called? So there we see we've got UIWS water body. That's what this guy is right here. But first, what you need to do is a UIWS uh, manager. So all you do, drop a manager into your scene, and then you can start creating the other entities in your scene. So basically drop a manager in and then drop a water body in, and then you have water in your game. Now, if you want an object such as this guy to interact with the water, there's a couple of other things you have to do. You have to apply a component to it 
So to get physics working on this entity right here, we had to add something to it. I'm going to open up the blueprint on this guy. So let's open this guy up in the blueprint editor. And you can see there is all we've done with it. Basically, when you hit the space bar, we add a quick impulse. It just shows you the interaction here. Speaking of interaction, that is the object you have to add. So you see here we've got a component of type UIWS interactor. Basically, you add that to anything in your game world that will interact with the water in your scene. And you are set. Uh, there's not really much you need to do. You basically turn should interact on. Um, and then the minimum velocity for it to interact, what you might find uh, is if there's if it's a really small movement, it may not trigger the water or whatever. That, that setting is configured here. And that's really all you need to do. Basically, for every object that's going to interact with your water with your water systems, you add a UIWS interactor component in and you are done. On top of that, you've got some configuration settings over here. So your manager, this is controlling uh, pretty much everything here. So you see here we got uh, we can handle how lighting works, uh, we can have continuous continuous lighting updates. Uh, we can come here, we can change our winds. You see we've got a, a minor ripple going on. I could go ahead and jack up the turbulence. We'll see a bit more going on. Uh, we could pick the direction of the turbulence. So if you want to have water very much going in one specific direction, you can do so. Uh, so that is controlled at the manager level. The body of water, you've got controls here as well. Uh, so you can have it um, tiling, details, ripples, you can change out the ripple reflections, you can get into the water color. So if we want to change out the coloring of our water, uh, we can control all of that right here. So if you want to have muddy water or so on, you can change the opacity level at depth and at shallow levels. Um, so you've got a fair decent bit of control here. The only finer thing that's left here is we've got this river uh, component here. I made one into a blueprint so I can go ahead and edit it. So here you see right there, this is uh, a newish feature that they've added in. This is using the Unreal Engine spline system. So what this has done is created a very narrow ribbon of um, uh, river, basically. So now what I can do is I can grab an individual control point, hold Alt, and move that out like so. And then we can just kind of keep going. Oops, did not mean to do that. And then we can just sort of keep going with that one. So I grab that control point again, and we can just move that guy there. And we could turn it. We could rotate it if we so wished. And boom, so you can create rivers and waterfalls, etc., using that system. And that's kind of the extent of it. It's really kind of cool. So all you really do, drop at least one manager into your scene to handle everything. Uh, if you want to have a lake or standing body of water, just drop in a water body. If you want to have a river, drop in a river. And essentially, that's it. A very, very capable water system you can add into your game uh, with really minimal work involved, to be honest. Uh, you... Um, Again, just have a couple dependencies you have to set up, and anything that interacts with the system has to also be configured, and that's it. Then you've got real realistic water, highly configurable. There's a lot of programming stuff I didn't touch on. Uh, there is pretty good documentation if you head on back over to their website. So come here. You're going to find the documentation. Kind of walks through, you through most of what you need to do. A little bit more about uh, customizing things in there. Uh, manual control. You've got events and functions you can handle for specific things. So if you want to, uh, in your code, create your own ripple or splash or whatever, you can do so. If you want to have your water cause damage, you've got that functionality in there as well. You also have fine-tuned control over customizing the materials or using your own materials with UIWS. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it. So I got to stay straight up. UIWS at $400 plus being completely free for the month. Definitely go and grab it. Even if you have no intention of using Unreal Engine right now, just pick it up. Start grabbing this stuff. You own it forever once you've bought it for zero money. And this one is uh, one of those things that really makes... Uh, Unreal Engine that much easier to use and having to put water systems into your world that's not a really rare thing to happen it's one of those things you're going to probably run into almost right away so this is one of the best things that has been released at least the most expensive things that has been released so far as part of the uh, Unreal Engine marketplace giveaways and I highly recommend picking this one up so let me know what you thought of it comments down below and I will talk to you all later